Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? And this is the results video of the week. I know lots of you really look forward to this. And I want to do it in its full form this week because I've done a couple of reduced ones. If you're new to the channel, let me explain. We look at so many leagues, um, loads and loads of leagues that have been requested by the subscribers of this channel and I go through all of the results from last weekend and sometimes I'll talk about them a little bit as well so drop a comment with your opinions as ever if you're enjoying the video obviously leave a like and subscribe but um, more or less just sit back you can either watch or you can listen close your eyes, headphones in and chill out Okay, so Tottenham are legitimately top of the Premier League, well done. The chasing pack, Man City and Arsenal two points behind, and Liverpool three points. Aston Villa up in fifth, Newcastle have climbed up to sixth, Brighton seventh, Man United starting to gather some sort of momentum in eighth. Chelsea also starting to play a lot better and that, that will get results soon. I'm really shocked. I did a predictions video and I said Crystal Palace to get relegated. No, I didn't. Wolves to get relegated. Excuse me, Crystal Palace mid-table. Wolves to get relegated. And I said Brentford as well. And I think I said Luton. Maybe, well, and Burnley. Not all of them, obviously. But I said it'd be much, much further down. Wolves have shocked me. The new manager's doing a brilliant job, it has to be said. Fulham are way lower than I thought they would be. And Everton, oh, I said Everton might have a good season. That's not happening. Forest, I said, would be safe. And um, they're not doing too badly at the second. I say that because a gap is opening up. They may be 15th, but they're actually six points, which is massive at this stage of the season, above Burnley, um, Luton and Everton in within uh, one win, but two wins away. Brentford and Nottingham Forest. Let's take a look at uh, the weekend's results then, shall we? Saturday in the derby, very sort of, I hear it's controversial. 2-0 um, win for Liverpool. Liverpool should possibly have had a player sent off. Uh, Ashley Young did go off and all of that jazz, but I think it's it, one of um, Klopp's sort of Achilles heels. He's never, he doesn't really do well against Everton as a Liverpool manager. So it's his first win in a while. Talked about wins. Wolves beat Bournemouth 2-1. Cunha and Kalajic. Uh, Solanke with the goal for Bournemouth. Brentford beat Burnley. That helped them out a lot. Wissa, Mbomo and Rodos. Man City beat Plucky Brighton who have had an unbelievable calendar fixture list. We should see them doing a lot better soon because surely they, I think they've played every team in the Champions League spots by now. 2-1, Alvarez and Haaland. Ansu Fati for Brighton, who's looking like quite the signing on loan, I guess, from uh, Barcelona. Let me quickly check if I'm right. So I've got Ajax next. Fulham, Everton, uh, Sheffield United, Nottingham Forest. Yeah, all in the bottom. Chelsea, Brentford, Burnley... And then Arsenal, um, Crystal Palace, Tottenham, West Ham, Wolves. Yeah, God, they've, they've really got most of the tough guys out of the way. Man City, Liverpool, Aston Villa, uh, Chelsea, Man United, Newcastle. Uh, who else they placed? Uh, oh, that was a friendly. Yeah, they've, uh, they've gone through quite a few big teams already, haven't they? Tough start of the season, but they've done well. 4-0 to the Toons, Murphy, Gordon, Longstaff and Wilson, and Nottingham Forest, Luton. Luton are starting to slowly pick up points, aren't they? They were 2-0 down, uh, Wood scored to Ogbeni and Adebayo scored. Uh, yes, yeah, so Ogbeni and Adebayo with the goals, play with the match and made team of the week, I think, Chris Wood with a 9 uh, for his two goals. And... I hear, I watched um, a little bit of the match and they said that Chelsea were very, very impressive and unfortunate not to get the win. 
Mudrik scored again. Palma with a penalty. Rice and another goal for Trossa. I think that's something like five goals in ten games for club and country. Something crazy. And Conor Gallagher, man of the match. And lastly, on Saturday, Man United finally won away. McTominay and Dallow. Battle of the Claret and Blues. Luis with two goals, Watkins and Bailey against Bowen. 4 1 for Aston Villa. And on Monday, to go top, Tottenham Beast beat, beast, beat Fulham 2 1 in the London Derby. Son and Madison yet again. Look at the pair of them, absolute legends. Okay. That is the Premier League. Let's go to the Championship. Okay. So. A couple of midweek games will be, you'll just talk about the weekend, right? So, Saturday 21st. So, Preston drew with Millwall, one all. Blackburn actually picked up a win against Fly High Flying Cardiff, one nil. Ranking Costello, cool name. Uh, Bristol beat Coventry, one nil. Huddersfield beat QPR, two one. Hull lost a home to Southampton, two one. Goals from Smallbone and Fraser. Middlesbrough, they won a match against Birmingham, 1-0, Rodgers. And Norwich lost at home to Leeds. Goals from, uh, own goal from Duffy, and he scored. And then two from Somerville. And then, what have we got? Uh, Stoke beat Sunderland. Swansea lost at home, obviously, to Leicester. 3-1, uh, goals from Vestergaard, Ishaku, and Iniacho. And Watford beat Sheffield Wednesday 1-0. West Brom and Plymouth drew. Let's have a quick look at the table. Leicester top, one loss, 12 wins. I think they've beaten a record now, haven't they? Ipswich second. Leeds up to third. Preston, wow. West Brom and Cardiff. Middlesbrough up to seventh. When did that happen? Southampton, Sunderland, Blackburn, Birmingham. And then, oh, my son's here down in 18th. We lost to Watford midweek at the bottom. QPR, Rotherham and Sheffield Wednesday. I'll skip one to National League's uh, Women's Super League. Okay, fixtures. So Man City women are top, along with Chelsea. Tottenham are third, Man United fourth, down the bottom of Bristol. Closely followed by Aston Villa. Fixtures. So Aston Villa lost at home to Tottenham 4-2. Leicester lost, lost at home to Man City 1-0. Man United beat Everton 5-0 away. Mallard, two from uh, Nikita Paris and two from Williams. Uh, Chelsea beat Brighton 4-2. Two, two oh, hat-trick from Newsken And one from Beaver Jones. And Liverpool could only draw with West Ham one all. And Arsenal beat Bristol 2-1. Two, two goals from Katie McCabe. Next, Serie A in Italia. So the two Milans that I predicted to do well are at the top of you. They are catching them. Napoli um, keeping in the Champions League spots. Fiorentina having a great season in fifth. Atalanta always around that area. Roma briefly did. Um, oh no, they didn't pop into the top yet, but they're, they're on a bit of a run at the second, so that's good. As a Bologna, Lazio are doing a lot better after a slow start. Udinese is still down in the um, in the relegation zones. Let's see why. On uh, Saturday, Verona lost home to Napoli 3-1. Goal from Politano and two from Quara. He's doing really well again. This season has started to pick up. Inter beat Torino away. Turam, Martinez and Chan Chalanoglu with the three goals. Lazio beat Suasolo also away. Anderson and Alberto, Luis Alberto, cracking player. Roma just, <laughs> just beat Monza, 10-man Monza. Sharawi with the 90th minute half volley. Very good goal. Did they deserve it? Probably not. Monza could have won it, to be honest with you. Bologna beat Frosinone 2-1, Ferguson and uh, Silvestri. Salimitana drew with Cagliari 2-all. 
Atlanta, Atlanta beat Genoa 2-0, Lukman and Edison. And Milan lost at home to Juve Locatelli. Previous player for Milan, I think, as well as Sassuolo, right? And, uh, yeah, so he scored the only goal on Monday. Udinese drew with Lecce. Fiorentina lost home to Empoli 2-0. Wow, what? Caputo and Yassi. They've actually got a win from somewhere. Where are they? In the, they're out to the relegation spots, my goodness. Hmm, sometimes a change in manager can work, I suppose. Okay, to Germany. Deutschland, Leverkusen are properly top. Stuttgart having a fantastic season, mostly because of that striker Girassi, who is apparently the second best goal scorer in Europe. Or is he the first? I think he's the first, and then Kane is the second, and Bellingham is third. Some, something I saw yesterday. So yeah, wonder how long they'll keep on to him. I wonder if someone might swoop in in January and try and get him then. But they can charge wherever they want to if they do. Bayern in third, Dortmund in fourth, Leipzig fifth, Hoffenheim sixth, got Frankfurt up there in seventh, uh, Union Berlin having one of those seasons where they go into Europe and they can't focus on both, Cologne is still down in 16th, Bochum and Mainz are in the relegation zones too, fixtures then, Friday Dortmund beat Werder Bremen 1-0 with a goal from Brandt, Julian Brandt, Leipzig beat Darmstadt away 3-1, Goals from Oppenda and Forsberg. Uh, Freiburg actually managed to get a win uh, against Bochum 2-1. Frankfurt won away at Hoffenheim with goals from Marmouche, Knauf and Schiri. Stuttgart beat Union Berlin in Berlin. Gerasi again, Mfumpa and Undav. Leverkusen continue their excellent form. Goals from Frimpong and Grimaldo. Beating Wolfsburg away to one loss of away wins this weekend. Bayern also won away. 3 1 goals from Coman, Kane, and Goretzka. Oh, I think Goretzka's injured now, isn't he? Leon Goretzka. Hmm? No, maybe he's back from injury. Either he's injured. Matter of match. And then on Sunday, Cologne actually beat Gladbach 3 1 goals from. Two penalties from Kainz and one from a uh, goal from Walt Schmidt. And Augsburg won away at Heidheim. Okay, let's skip that one and go to the Eredivisie. PSV top, Alkmaar, second, Feyenoord are in third. The big story, of course, is that Ajax are in the relegation zone. Having played two fewer matches than everyone else, but with some terrible results. I saw a title of a, um, a YouTube video recommended to me this week. Is Ajax the worst team this season in the Eredivisie? Drop me a comment and let me know. Okay, so PSV uh, beat Fortuna Sittard 3-1. Goals from Hustil again, Silva and Bakayoko. Uh, Valvik beat Volendam 2-1. Nijmegen drew with Almere 1-0. Alkmaar beat Heronveen. 3-0 hat-trick from Pavlidis, Evangelos Pavlidis, the Greek. So I'm in the um, Europa, no, the Conference League last year, it was good. Feyenoord beat Vitesse 4-0, Stengs, Jiménez, Gertrude and Milambo. And on Sunday, Ajax lost away to Utrecht, goals from Flamingo van der Hoorn, Tornstra and Fraulo. Is van der Hoorn former Swansea player then. Yes, it is. He's such a good player. He's captain. I think he captained us as well. And um, PC's Vole won away to Excelsior 4-2. Twente drew with Heracles 2 all and go ahead drew with Sparta. Rotterdam 0-0. What's next? Turkey Super League. Fenerbahce still second unbeaten. I think it's going to be a really interesting title, my, uh, title, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Fight. Battle for the title. This season, Champions League qualification for the top two. I can see with the investment that they've made in this league that they're going to be getting more Champions League spots in the future. There's no reason really why Turkey couldn't be one of the teams with three slots, like 
um, Portugal are, France, for example. Oh, France have four nowadays, don't they, I think? Or they have three. Oh, I can't remember. We'll see in a minute. Okay. Besiktas in fourth. And Bashak Shahir down the bottom. Interesting. Okay. Saturday, Kayseri Sport beat Riza Sport 3 1. Gaziantep beat Antalya Sport 1 0. Pendik Sport 1 away at Konya Sport 2 1. Besiktas lost in the derby to Galatasaray. Two goals from Icardi, one from Oxlade Chamberlain, former Liverpool player. Kasim Kasim Pasha beat Sivaspor away. Istanbul Sport beat Ankara Kutu 2 1. Fenerbahce beat Hatay Sport 4 2. Szymanski, Osai, Samuel, Jekko, and Kaveci. And Samsung Sport drew with Pashak Shahir. And on Monday, Karagümrük beat Atana Demir Sport 2 0 and Trapsan Sport beat Al Alanya Sport 1 0 with an on goal from Aliti. Let's go to Sweden. Sveria. And Sport did still top. No change in the top three or four actually. And then um, not much change in the bottom either. Okay, Saturday, the Afosh lost on to Kalma 3-1, Sirius beat Broma Poikana 3-2, Hugh Gordon drew in the derby, the Stockholm derby with Hammerby 0-0, Amstads drew with Mjellby 1-0, Hecken beat Norrköping 4-1, Sonko Hattrick and Chilufia. Newman still plays there, he's been there for years, hasn't he? For Norrköping. Newman, let's find him. 31, Korea. Oh, he's gone back, I see. He went to Germany for a bit. Malmö beat Fabesh 5-0. Nanasi, Sverrisson, Rosengren, Ali and Vecchia. And Vernamo beat uh, Jutvar 3-1. Elspo beat AIK 3-0. Two goals from Baidu and one from Lashon. Okay, let's go to España. So, Real Madrid are top, but look at this. Girona still hanging on in there. I wonder if they can make um, this a permanent thing. Is they're going to have a good season, hopefully. It's good to see someone new challenging. It's fantastic for the whole um, division, really. Barcelona a point away and Atletico only a few. My Athletic Club are still doing well. Down the bottom, Delta Vigo, Granada and Almeria. Fixtures, let's have a look. So on Friday, Osasuna beat Granada 2-0. Sociedad beat Mallorca 1-0. Goal from Mendez. Getafe drew with Real Betis 1-0. Sevilla drew with Real Madrid. One all, Alaba on goal and Carvajal. Uh, Celta Vigo lost home to Atletico Madrid, 3-0. Hat-trick from Griezmann. Rayo beat Las Palmas away, 1-0. Girona beat Almeria, 5-2. Martin, 2 from the Ukrainian Dovbik, Savio and Stuani. Villarreal drew with Deportivo Alaves, 1-0. And Parta Mir beat Atletic Club with... Youngster Guiu scoring the only goal. And Valencia beat Cadiz 2 0, Gaia and Duro. Okay. So next up is League A. Yeah, they do have four for the Champions League. Yeah. Okay, uh, Monaco are top. Nice second. Still unbeaten. Wow. Peche. Only two points off, but in third, Lille are in fourth. A good three points behind, though. Brest and Hans are having a very good season, as are not. Um, Lons not having a good season, but they are starting to get better. Lyon, bottom of the league. Unbelievable. Let's look at those results then. So Friday, Le Havre drew with Lons, 0-0. Paris Saint-Germain beat Strasbourg, 3-0. Mbappe penalty. Carlos Soler and Ruiz. 
Nice beat Marseille, mm. south the coast of Derby. Gesson with the only goal. Lorient beat Rennes 2 1 in the Battle of Brittany. Omari and Touré with the goals. Lille beat Brest 1 0. Yazic, the Turk, with the goals. Nantes beat Montpellier 2 0. Toulouse Rennes 1 0. Monaco beat Metz 2 1. Two goals from the Russian Golovin. And Lyon lost a home 2 1 to Clermont Foot. Uh, Saracevic and Mania. Something top unbeaten, Ranger second, St. Mirren third, Hearts fourth. And Killy beat Livingston 3 1. Rangers beat Hibbs 4 0. Two goals from Seema, Ras Raskin, and Dessas. I really like Dessas. Not quite sure why these were called off. Maybe it was weather. Uh, Hearts lost at home to Celtic, so two. Um, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Derby's in the same weekend. Um, Shankland, but O'Reilly, Maeda, Furuhashi, and Iwata. The Japanese contingent on the goal scoring charts there. And then on Tuesday, Dundee drew with Ross County nil nil. It's got a Belgium. Ooh. So in this very very fun league where. Basically, one of about six clubs could win it. Union saint gilloise are top, four points ahead of Antelacht, and five ahead of Rent. Circle of Bruges are in the top four. Current champions Antwerp are in sixth, Genk in fifth, Club Bruges in seventh. Yeah, and um, practically any of those clubs down to seven, I think, could win the league. Let's look at results. Friday, saint gilloise beat Uber. Kasupa 4-1, Nilsson, Rasmussen, Omura and Kabangu. Kortreik beat Club Bruges, 1-0 with a goal from Davis. Uh, Molenbeek drew with Vestelo, 1-0. Sporting Chalwa beat Champions Antwerp, 3-2. Stulic, Il, I can never say his name. Two goals from Ilai Maharitra. <laughs> Where's he from again? The state in Madagascar. Hank beat Mechele 4 0. Bar, Heine, Chanus, and Hatch. Circle Bruges beat Gent, uh, Lopez, and Denki. Standard Liege beat Andlecht 3 2. Alzate, Kawabe, and Ungoy. And Lewa beat St. Traude 4 0. Okay, let's go to Denmark. Copenhagen is still top. Silkeborg second. Brembu, third, and Nausilam, fourth. Anyone down the bottom who shouldn't be there? No, not really. Maybe a dancer. Friday, Silkeborg won away to Uy Dora. <laughs> Three, uh, two, one. Two goals, from, uh, one from Lint and the other from Adamson. Or Lynn. Copenhagen beat Veli Ball Club. Two, one goals from Ashuri and Elionusi. Um, Aarhus won away to Lumbu, 2-0. Nocillon beat Vibor, 2-0. Goals from Mbom and Ingvartsen. Randers drew home to Brumbu, 2-all. And Odense lost home to Midjylland, 2-1. Two, two goals from Sørensen. Portugal. Sporting still top. Benfica second. Porto third. Braga fourth. This season seems to be a little bit more normal than last season. Okay. Uh, Morirense drew with Boavista 1 all on Friday night. Chaves beat Gil Vicente 4 2. Ferenza drew with Vizela 0 0. Braga beat Rio Ave 2. Oh my god, look at those. Ruiz scored on the fifth minute for Rio. And then Braga scored in the 91st and 96th to win it. Banza and Ruiz. And then Benfica won away at Estoril. 1-0, 93rd from Silva. 
Така са пия Lost Home to Estrella от Amadora 1-0. Виторията Гамарайш Пит Фамаликао 3-1 Away. Порто Пит Порта Монеанса 1-0. Евен Илсон on the ninth minute and Sporting beat Aruka 2-1 Jukeres very coveted striker Morita and cancel out Mojica's goals so 2-1 to Sporting Razia Krasnodar still top then at second Grelia Sobotov third and Spartak fourth Sochi and Baltica down the bottom results Saturday, Hornburg lost after beating Zenit last week, or two weeks ago. Lost at home to Fackel. Uh, Rubin, Siske, 0-0. Lokomotiv, Dinamo, in the Moscow Derby, 0-0. Baltiga drew with bottom and top, 2-0 with Krasnodar. Kuzmin, on Enriquez, Cordoba and Spetsian with the goals. Sochi did win away, it's by being bottom 4-1. Colton Kravtsov, Burmistrov, Kramaric and Ignatiev. Spartak, my Spartak. They won against Nizhny Novgorod 2-0. Prutsev and Martinch. Noisy call. Zenit go back to winning, winning ways. 3-1. Vendel, two goals and Mostovoy. And Rosto beat Ahmad. 3-0. Golenkov, Asipenko and Moebi. Poland. Białystok are top. Really? I think it's another interesting division where the same team doesn't win it every year. Slask, Wrocław in second, and Lech, Poznań in third, current champions. Czestochowa are in fourth, Warszawa, Legia Warszawa are in fifth. Okay, so Friday, Piast and Pogon nil nil. Jagie Leonia, 3-0 winners over Lubin. Puszcza, drawing at home to Krakowia, 1-0. Slask beating Legia Warszawa, 4-0. Schwarz, Exposito, 2 and Samiak Talar with 1. Lech Poznan beating Wodz, 3-1. Ishak with 2 goals and 1 from Velde. Radomiak. Drawing with Corona Kielce, one all. And Drachov Chestakova losing a, a way to Kornik Zabrze, 2 1. Goals from, two from Yokota and one from Chernach. And Stal Mialets losing home to Varta Poznan, 1 0. There's more games, but they are not from the weekend. Okay, let's go to Elava, Greece. Olympiakos top, Pauk second, AAK third, and Panathinaikos fourth. It's kind of usually those four in some order in this league. Basically, are they all from Athens? I think they are. No, Thessaloniki is not. Olympiakos is AAK, and I think Panathinaikos are as well. Okay. Friday, Lamia beat Yanya 2 1. Panetolikos beat Folos 2 0. Aris beat Panzerikos 1 0. AEK Athens 1 away. Asteras Tripolis 3 0. Eliason Mohamedi and Zuba. Kifisia drew with Crete. Pauk beat Atromitos 2 0. Ozdoyev, the Russian, 2 goals. He's a good player. Olympiakos and Panathinaikos was abandoned. Oh dear. That's a big derby. Kamara and Fayanidis with the goals before it was abandoned. Does it say on the... No, it doesn't say any reason why. Let me know in the comment section. I hope it wasn't violent. Okay, next. Czechia. The big two, Sparta and Slavia Praha, still top. And second, respectively, and Victoria in third. Hey, Saturday, Zlin, what? <laughs> Nine, five. There were 14 goals. Goodness me, I cannot believe that. Fantis, Janetsky, Bartoszak, Fukatinovic and Kolevich. Imagine scoring five and losing. 
Yeah, the police have Maricek, two goals, Kusei, two goals, Yavo, two goals, Matejowski, Elal, and John. I'm gonna find the, uh, there's a goal every three minutes. Two minutes, actually. Goodness me. Well, they got their money's worth, the, uh, the fans, didn't they? I need to find a video of that. That looks like an amazing match. Uh, Karvina beat Hradec Kralove 1-0. Pardubice drew with Sigma Lomuts 1-0. Slovan Liberec uh, beating Viktoria Pilsen 3-0. Slavia Praha beating Slovatsko 2-0. Uh, Sparta Praha beating Dinamo Česke 4-0. Kai Rinen Pesek Sørensen and Sev Cik. Sev Cik. And Teplice lost home to Panico Strava 1-0. Jablonitz lost home to Bohemians 1-0. Okay, Switzerland. Zurich are top, young boy second, Sonkalen third. And results. Saturday, Stad Lausanne Oshi 2, Lausanne 2. So it's a, was it a derby? Young Boys and Zurich 0-0. Baal lost home to Servette 1-0. Goal from Severin. Vinterthur beat Sonkalen 2-1. Grasshopper beat Lugano 2-1. Luzerne beat Yvedon 2-1. Dawn and Shadow. Let's go to Norway. Bordeaux glimpsed our top. Viking second and Bran third. Rosenberg are down in 10th. Surprising. Saturday, Bodo Glimt beat Sanifio 4-3. Calls from Mumbanya, Zugel, Grünbeck and Saltness. Brand beat Molde 3-2. Lillestrøm beat Wolleringa 2-0. Olesson beat Sarsvor 3-2. Haugesund a one away to Hamkam 3-0. Rosenborg Drew with Stabek 1-0, Sette and Bakinga with the goals. Ström's goal set, 3, odd, 1, Viking 3, but Tromsø 4. Okay, let's go to Northern Ireland, Linfield on top, and Glenavon on bottom. Mm -hmm. On Friday, Cliftonville lost home to Linfield 1-0, goal from McKee. Larn beat Carrick Rangers 2-0. Balimina beat Collarin 3-1. Dungannon lost home to Crusaders 4-1. Glentoran beat Glenavon 3-1. Lahol, Lachko beat Neri 3-1. Lafko, Lachko. I think I usually say Lafko. I could do Polish and Czech football clubs, but I can't do Northern Irish ones. Shamrock are top, St. Patrick's are second at the... We have this top. Ooh, not many matches to go. Okay, uh, Friday. So UCD played on Thursday and Sunday. Interesting. Friday, Bohemians lost home to St. Patrick's, 2-0. Derry and Shelburne, nil nil. Sligo lost home to Dundalk, 2-0. Goals from Hogan and Durant. UCD lost home to Cork, 2-0 on Sunday. With Marsh and Keating. And Shamrock beat Drauder 5 0. Clark, Towell, Kenny, Fruja, and Boom. And then St. Patrick's beat uh, Sligo 1 0. Levy with the goal. That league is nearly finished. Let's go to Wales, Cymru. Tinest, mm, they're a game ahead and three points already, so they're starting to stretch their lead as they usually do. Connor's key, the only team that can really catch them. Uh, Aberystwyth down the bottom. It's a shame. Okay, Saturday. Uh, Bala beat Havel West 2-0. TNS beat Barrytown 6-2. Hattrick from Young, Davis, Daniels and Greening. Uh, Carnarvon beat Cardiff Met 5-1. Goals Hattrick from Bradley. Davis and Clark with other goals. Connors Key beat Pontebury 3-0. Davis, Morris and Nash with the goals. Okay. Where's this 
Romania. Stau crest top, Cluj second. Was done the bottom, Botosani and Dinamo Bucharest. Wow, Dinamo, come on. Friday, Arad drew with Rapid Bucharest 2 all. Hermannstadt beat Dinamo Bucharest 4 0. On Saturday, Farul Costanza drew with Cluj, Universitatea Cluj 1 all. Polytechnica Yash drew with Cryova 1 all. And Universitatea Craiova lost on to Petrolul 3 1. Um, Bucharest drew with Voluntari 0 0. Stauer Bucharest. Sepsi uh, beat Potosani 5 2. And Cluj drew with Ocelul Galatz 0 0. Austria, Österreich. Stuttgart's top. Salzburg second, four points behind though. Stuttgart's unbeaten. And Austria lost to now about them. Let's see the results. Saturday, Linz drew with Austria lost to now 0 0. Lask beat Salzburg. Wow, win Salzburg. Zul with the only goal. Stuttgart's beat Hartberg. 2 1 goals from Jatta and Prass. Altach drew with Wolfsburger 0 0. Tirol lost on to Austria Vienne 2 0. And Rapid Vienne lost on to Austria Klagenfurt 3 2. It's got a Croatia Riekera still top. In fact, Hajduk Split are now second, so that means Zagreb are third, but with a game in hand. Friday, Rudes drew with Slaven 0 0. Farazdin drew with Lokomotiva 0 0. Gorica beat Dinamo Zagreb 2 1. Vujnovic and Juric with the goals. Uh, Istra drew with Rijeka 1 all. Hajduk split lost at home to Osijek, so that gave them an opportunity to go ahead and they blew it. Very interesting. So Rijeka, Jankovic scored Milna. Sorry, Melina equalized. Okay, next up is, oh yes, Israel is undoubtedly not playing at the minute. Yeah, they've been suspended until December by the looks of it. Okay, North Macedonia, Shkendia, Shkupi and Struga are top. So Saturday, Sunday, excuse me. Um, Silex beat Tikves Kavadarchi 1 0. Kostivari drew with Voska Sport. Shkendia drew with Brera Strumica 1 all. Shala and Antonio with the goals. Macedonia lost home to Struga 3 0. Rabotnitsky lost home to Vardar Skopje 1 0. And Shkupi won away to Bregalnica Stip with a goal from Ilieski. Azerbaijan then. Zira is top. And Karabakh are sort of top as well, but there must have been a match between the two because their goal difference is better. So they should be top, so I'm guessing they lost to Zira. And Kapaz are down at the bottom. Okay, Friday. Uh, Turantovu's drew with Karabakh to all. Sabah lost home to Nefchi 4 2. Kapaz drew with Zira 0 0. Sabah beat Sunkayet 3 1. Kavala lost home to Aras 4 1. And Sunkayet beat Sabah today. Oh, I shouldn't have said that one, but never mind. And nearing the end of Europe, we've got Ukraine. Krivpas is top, and Zhitomir is second. Shakhtar is actually third and April 4th. Dinamo Kiev down in seventh, surprisingly. Zoria down in the relegation playoff spot. Hmm. Okay, Saturday, Friday. Obolombrova lost home to Zoria 4 2. Metalist lost home to Krivpas 3 1. Goals from Sadaraka 2 from him and Kozhushko. Churamoretz, Odessa, 3-0 winners over Minai. Shachta beating Cherkasi, 3-0 as well. Sikan and 2 from Kelsey. Alexandria lost home to Kolos, 1-0. And on Sunday, 
Ferris Reef there lost home to Ruch Lviv 5 2. Forskala lost home to Polisa Zhitomir 3 0. And Timo Kiev lost home to Nipro 1 0. Hutsuliak with the only goal. Forskala lost home to Nipro or in another match. Midweek fixture. Okay, and Kazakh League then last. Hordubaste Shimkent top. Astana 2nd October in 3rd. So, Maktaral beat Kazlazar 2-1, oh, Kazlazar, Petro Pavlovsk, uh, Almaty beat Axu 4-1, Kairat Almaty, Tobol drew with Kaspiak Tau 1 all, Astana beat Jetusu Tal de Korgan 2-1, goals from Tos, Magam Betov and Aim Betov. And Okzeptes Kosh Kokshetau drew with Aktobe. Kaiser beat Atera 1 0 and Shimkent beat Shachter Karagandi 3 1. Calls from Jacques Selikov, Umarov, and PS Yedin. Has the A League started yet? It has. Should we go A League? Yay! Okay, Adelaide with the early win, uh, early lead. Uh, Melbourne in second. Uh, Melbourne victory. West United third. And at the bottom we've got Melbourne City, Sydney, they won't stay there for long, and Central Coast Mariners. Okay, opening round of results then. Adelaide beat Central Coast 3-0. Goals from Halloran, Halloran, Clough and Ansel. Then on Saturday, MacArthur drew with Brisbane, Raw, one all Rodriguez and O'Shea. Melbourne lost home to Western United 2-1. Arslan, um, but... Wales, good name, and Bottage. And Sydney lost home to Melbourne, wow. Fornaroli and McCatch with the goals. And Western Sydney Wanderers drew with Wellington Phoenix of New Zealand 0 0. Perth Glory 2 all with Newcastle Jets, Taggart, Kolokovsky, Grozos, and <laughs> Stamatelopoulos. I think I said it right. 92nd minute equaliser. Okay, more from the Aussie League next week. <laughs> Seamless transition. I've just <laughs> you may have noticed the time has changed a little bit from when I was doing my video earlier on. Popped out, had some dinner with a friend, came back, finishing this video before bed. How much do I think of you guys, eh? Um, okay, dedicated to you I am. We've done the A League, if I remember correctly, that's where I left the video. So let's have a look at the Saudi professional league, Al Hilal at top. The big news coming out of um, Al Hilal is that Neymar is basically going to miss the entire rest of the season and might not be fit in time for the, is it the Copa America next summer? He might be out until May, unfortunately, with um, a really bad injury. So that's pretty awful. They spent all that money on him and um, he's injured. Bless him. Al Taun Taun are remarkably up to second above Al Nasser Al Ahli and Al Ittihad, which is a bit of a shock in that league with all the money that was spent on those clubs. Um, Al Taun did not have the same investment. Okay, results then. Friday, Al Fayha beat Al Akhdud. Al Taun drew with Al Ittihad. Benzema scored both ends, apparently. Home goal and a goal for Elite the Head. Al Fateh beat Abha 4 1. Al Hilal beat Al Khalij 1 0. Goal from Alexander Mitrovic. Al Hazim beat Ar Rayed 4 3. Al Nasser beat Tamak 2 1. Goal from Taliska and Ronaldo. And Al Ahli beat Al Weta. San Maxima, Ibanez and Mahrez. And Ashaba beat Otay 2 0. Diallo and Monasser with the gold. And last year on Sunday, Ariad beat um, Stephen Gerrard's Al Ittifaq with a goal from Shuai. So that is the Asian leagues that we cover. Let's pop over to the MLS now. Saturday and Sunday. Okay, here we go. We 
yes, that's right. We're coming to the end of the season, aren't we? Um, so a couple of games left, maybe one game each. How many times do I see Red Bull? One game, hmm, two for Dallas though. These aren't the playoffs, are they? I don't think so. The knockouts aren't. Oh, the knockouts. Some of them have been drawn. So Philly against New England by the looks of it. LAFC against Vancouver. Houston against Real Salt Lake. Orlando against Nashville. Seattle against Dallas. Who's CLB? Columbus Crew, sorry, against Atlanta. And four spots left. Surprising they've drawn them already, anyway. Uh, Charlotte beat into Miami 1 0. Columbus Crew beat Montreal 2 1. Uh, Cincinnati drew with Atlanta 2 all. Goals from Baji, Acosta, and 2 for Yakumakis. Nashville lost a home to New York Red Bulls 1-0, New England beat Philly 2-1, New York FC beat Chicago 1-0, and Toronto lost a home to Orlando, goals from Maguire, two goals from him. On Sunday, Colorado lost a home to Salt Lake, LA Galaxy lost a home 4-1 to Dallas, Edwards scored for LA Galaxy, but come on, go with two goals to Massey and O'Brien with the goals for Dallas. Portland lost to home to Houston, 3-1. Mora scored for Portland, but two goals from Dorsey and one from Carrasquilla mean that Houston got the win. San Jose drew with Austin 1-all. Sporting Kansas beat Minnesota 3-1. St. Louis City lost to home to Seattle Sounders. Seattle's goals came from Rusnak and an own goal from Parker. And LAFC drew one all with Vancouver. Ahmed scored for Vancouver and Buanga for LAFC. Okay, crunch time coming up in the MLS very soon. Not so much in La Liga. Are we still in the Apertura or the Clausura? Okay, America now top. Tigres, my Tigres second. San Luis third. Necaxa, Cruz Azul, Puebla. Still down the bottom. Okay, Saturday 21st. Uh, Atlas lost a home to Mazatlan, 3 1. Ciudad Juarez lost a home to Pachuca. The goal came from Idrisi. Puebla lost a home to Chivas, 2 0. Alvarado with a penalty and Cisneros. Leon beat Toluca, 1 0. America beat Santos, 4 3. America scorers Martin Rodriguez Quiñones with a penalty and Sendejas. Brunette Preciado and Rodriguez for Santos. Tigres beat uh, Cruz Azul. 2-1 Gignac and Carioca with a 96th minute winner. Cancelling out Antuna's goal. I missed Querétaro beating Tijuana 1-0. And Monterrey beat Universidad Nacional away 1-0. 93rd minute goal from Gonzalez. San Luis beat Necaxa 4-0 and Leon today drew with Atlas 1-0. Goals from Alvarado and Caicedo. Okay, let's go to Canada. Okay, I think we are all done, oh, apart from one game apparently. Are these the playoffs then? How do I find out? So, it looks to me like... Oh yes, so on Saturday there was one game. Cavalry against Pacific. Cavalry beat Pacific. <laughs> Easy for me to say. 2-1, Klomp and Musa. Musa. Mane for Pacific. And it looks like Cavalry and Forge have got a game left. That must be the playoffs, but I can't see. Maybe if I do it this way, on matches. Upcoming matches. Premier League final. Ooh. Okay, so Cavalry Forge for the final, by the looks of it. Is that... So Forge beat Cavalry. Cavalry beat Pacific. I can't work this out. 
This is not giving me the option to uh, see the playoffs. I don't know whether this is the playoffs. It must be, surely. Someone explain in the comments. But anyway, coming up is Forge against Cavalry. We click on that and see what it says. Premier League final. No, I don't open a betting account. Premier League final in Hamilton, Canada. Okay. Let's go to South America then. Serie A. But the full goal almost over the line now. 59 points. Bragancino doing really well. Flamengo back up to third. Palmeiras fourth. Gremio is into sixth. Atletico Paranaense fifth. My Atletico Minas Gerais is nearly in the playoff spots for the Copa Libertadores. But Gremio have a game in hand. And down the bottom, Vasco da Gama and Santos. Um, wow, wow, wow. Or Corinthians. Eek. Um, plenty of games left, though, by the looks of it. Okay, so Friday, Santos lost home to Red Bull, 3-1. Fluminense Corinthians, 3-all. Goals from, two goals from Lima and Arias. Two goals from Abel, Alberto and one from Santos for Corinthians. And then Bahia beat Fortaleza 2-0. We are Badre with Goyas 1-0. And Sao Paulo beat Grêmio 3-0. Goals from Araujo, Maya and Neves. James Rodriguez, man of the match. Botafogo drew with Atletico Parnaense 1-0. Atletico lost at home to Cruzeiro 1-0. Goal from, as an own goal from Jamerson. Flamengo beat Vasco da Gama 1-0, Gerson with a goal. Internacional beat Santos 7-1. Silveira scored for Santos. Internacional, Kevison, Patrick, Valencia, two goals. Wanderson, Bustos and Adriano. Man of the match, Ena Valencia. Corinthians drew with America, Minas Gerais 1-0. Curitiba lost home to Palmeiras 2-0. Goal from Gomez and Piqueres. And Red Bull beat Fluminense 1 0 goal from Sasha. Sasha used to play for Atletico Minas Gerais now. Yeah, we did. How many games have been played? Oh, 28. 20, so it's another 10 games to go anyway. Okay. So they've still. Botafogo is not done. I thought um, they were so far ahead at one point, I just assumed that the season was over. Okay, we'll skip Serie B. Liga Profesional has finished. Primera División in Chile. Oh. Oh, wants to go to there. Okay. Cobresal top, Huachipato second, Colo Colo third. Bottom, Magallanes and Curicó Nido. Matches. Hmm, no matches played since the break before the uh, international window. We're coming back on Monday the 6th of November. And, oh, I forgot to move this into the European spots. Bulgaria, we'll do as a bonus one at the end. Lokomotiv Plovdiv are top. Chunomore Varna are second. So, in this case, Sovia third and Levski fourth. Ludogorets is down in fifth. Bottom are um, Etar Veliko Tarnovo. Fixtures from the weekend. Friday we had Krumovgrad nil, Etnar nil. Lokomotiv Plovdiv 1, Beroje 2. Botev Vratza 3, Botev Plovdiv 5. Lokomotiv Safia nil, CSK nil. Pirin Blagojevgrad 1, CSK Sofia 2. Hebar 1, Slavia Sofia 1, 0. Levski 1, Chinomore 0. Go from Gemini. Sending off for Chinomore. And lastly, Arda Kajali 0. Ludkoretz Razgrad 0. Oh, one more. Etar Pit Botev Vratza 2, 1. Okay. As a bonus, I'm just going to check the Libertadores because I know the final is coming up soon. It is going to be Boca against Fluminense. 
might say on the 4th of November, I'll keep an eye on that. Okay, and I'll do a Champions League, Europa League and Europa Conference League video maybe this weekend or early next week for you, okay? I'll also do a um, Asian Champions League video soon because everyone's played three matches now. And we'll talk about the halfway stage of the group stage. So lots of videos coming up for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, click like, click subscribe if it's your first time and you made it this far. Hardcore, an hour in. And uh, leave a comment and let me know if you're happy with your team and how they did this week. Okay, take care everyone. See you guys really soon. Don't forget about my Patreon if you want to support me a little bit further. But thank you so much for watching all the same. Thank you.